that note for this afternoon, thank you very much for joining in. We have to start wrapping up a day that is ending on the lower side. Like I said, 200-point trading range, but we are closer to the low of the range than the high of the range. So with the Nifty ending, in all probability, uh, below the 25,000 mark. So let's see where the weakness was. Trend has lost about 4% today, profit-taking finally setting in. There are uh, some of the auto names that have seen red as well. m and down almost 3%, Hero Motor down 2%. Tata Motors has lost a little over 1%. Aisha is down 1%. So the auto space, definitely quite weak. Infosys uh, saw a cut of about 2% as well. Uh, the other big names included the likes of uh, Kotak Mahindra Bank on the way down. Uh, there was uh, uh, Indusin Bank, ITC. These are some of the prominent losers uh, in terms of today's action. Titan also losing a little over 1%. Nestle was down. So a couple of consumer names coming into the mix on the lower side of the screen. Talk about uh, the stocks that managed to buck the trend. Some of the HDFC group names have done really well. It's actually been a good day for the HDFC group. HDFC Life is a nifty winner with a gain of nearly 2%. HDFC AMC, we've been telling you, has had a rocking day today. Uh, the tally on uh, HDFC AMC as we're wrapping up is, I think, almost 6 to 7%. Uh, and then uh, look at HDFC Bank itself, the, uh, the big parent, 1% higher on HDFC Bank. Uh, Bajaj Auto, Bharti Airtel and Reliance, let's not forget, Reliance prevented a much bigger slide because it managed to hold on to a gain of just under 1%. But even then, the Nifty is ending with a cut of uh, almost 100 points, Prashant. Uh, no, absolutely. So that, uh, you know, bounds that we saw uh, proved to be pretty fleeting and very uh, temporary and the market uh, ending down uh, quite, uh, you know, not very sharply percentage point-wise, uh, it's about a third of a percent or so. Uh, but that's what we had. So I'll just start, I'll just look at a few losers because they're easier to count. Uh, although it was almost one is to one, if you had to uh, sort of, you know, s look at the volume angle as well, I mean, I think it was still in the broader market with the winners. Big list of volume-led gainers is what we had. Uh, so maybe, you know, I'll just look at, uh, so the uh, AMC names were all higher, HDFC, UTI, Aditya Birla, uh, names like Railtel, uh, there was uh, Rallis India, Amber, these are some of the outsized gainers that we saw today. Uh, you know, IFB Industries was up 15%. You know, Voltas was up, I think, about 3%. Orient Simmons uh, went up 10% uh, today. Novama uh, was a sharp mover. Again, capital market play, action construction. Newland was up 10% yesterday, another 5-6% today. That's Newland Laboratories. Uh, you look at something like a South Indian bank, which was a big mover. Time Technoplast. Time Technoplast was up uh, another 5%. Uh, and you had Stylum Industries, which went up. Uh, Stylum was up 15%, actually, on decent-sized volumes. You know, the uh, en entire uh, artificial diamond uh, story, Goldium, is a play on that. Goldium went up sharply today uh, in terms of uh, trade. So that's essentially where a lot of the volume was. But I'm only, I think, counting 50% of the stocks there. Uh, it's, it's a, as I said, volumes were, even though overall advanced decline was 1 as to 1, volumes were on the side of what went, what went up. Uh, so yeah, absolutely. And uh, by the way, I should just note the final close on uh, Aditya Birla Sun, uh, on, uh, not Aditya Birla Sun Life AMC. That's a 12% move. Uh, but on uh, Aditya Birla Real Estate, AB Real Estate, the stock earlier known as Century Textiles, this is its new avatar. That's the asset management company. Now let's talk about the real estate company, which is AB Real Estate, 8% up in its new avatar, no longer called Century Textiles. Yeah, this is stock I'm referring to, so good day for this one as well. Okay, as we wrap out of this edition of Closing Bell, let's get...